So I wanted to give a little intro to this tape, lesson I already taped it, um, and I'll stick this on the front. Um, uh, first of all, I want to remind you, in case you're coming late to this particular little party, when I say higher on the guitar, I always mean higher in pitch. So the thinner strings, that's, that's going up. Going down would be on the neck, going up, going down. It always refers to whether the pitch is getting higher or lower, okay? So later on in the video, I say we played the bass string on the A string, and then on the higher next higher string, we did the hammer after the strum. The other thing I wanted to mention is I walk through a song for you here, and when I walk through it, the first time I name the chords, every time I name a chord, that's one measure of music. It's four beats. It's one bass, strum, bass, strum. So when you think about playing the song, you think of them as little units of four beats each, and you have to have the right number of them in there. So see if you can play along with my recording of just the first recording I make of the um, chord progression. Okay, here you go. So today I thought I would give you a song to work on because just having a bunch of chords doesn't do you much good. And I, I tried to look around to get a nice song that people knew that had all six chords, but I couldn't find one. So we're going to stick with three chords, maybe four. And uh, we're going to do Blowing in the Wind by Bob Dylan, a song that had a whole lot of meaning for me when I first learned it. And then it just became a song I played, and now it has a whole lot of meaning all over again. So anyhow, first I'm going to walk you through a way of playing the chords. It's just C, F, and G most of the way through. So if you just played bass chord, bass chord, and remember we're going to use our low bass as the root note of the chord. So on a C chord, it's here on the fifth string. <coughs> so it would be C, F, C. C, C, F, C, G, and then C, F, C, 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 F, G. one verse. Now I'm going to put a link at the bottom of this to my version of Blown in the Wind. It'll sound real different from this because it's a little more complicated accompaniment. But but I'm also going to sing you a verse here. So, um, so if we were playing it, we'd be going, How many roads must a man walk down before you can call him a man? How many seas must a white dove sail Before she can sleep in the sand And how many times must the cannonballs fly Before they are forever banned the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. And so your first goal would be just to be able to do that. And even you will find, 
got to have a little coffee in the middle of the day to stay awake. You will find that if you have not sung and played the guitar at the same time, that it's a new skill to learn and you have to kind of practice it. So what you may do first is go through the earlier part of this and follow along on the chords without singing. And then you could even uh, put the early chords on and sing without playing the guitar. Um, so that's, that would be a first way into the song. Now, there's a, if you're using a flat pick, and I have one right here, then you'd be doing the same thing. You'd be playing a bass note and a gentle strum. Okay, so what's going to happen after you get that down a little bit and are comfortable with it, then you can start throwing all the hammers we were talking about. So you could be going... And you have to allow yourself, you know, when we gave it to you as an exercise, we did a very specific uh, bass note on the n name of the chord note, and um, and then a hammer on the string above it, all on the second fret. But as you get used to this a little bit, you have to allow yourself to just goof around a little. So you can try. You can mess around a little bit with that, and you can do that whether you're finger picking or finger style. Now, even when I played it for you the first time, I chose to um, to on the G chord to skip over the A string and go. 6th string, 4th string, because that is a nice sound to it. And the 5th string, you'll, a lot of times it'll be muted or you'll have to make special uh, arrangements for, to have it sound right. So, um, uh, so that's your assignment for this time, is to see if you can learn to play through that song. And then next time we're going to talk about bass runs. And bass runs our little a little melodic bridge that connects one chord to another chord instead of this it goes and so we'll get on that on the next lesson but for this one see if you can learn how to play the basics of this song okay have fun with it bye bye